Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We're going to do another masking tutorial. So for this one, you can go in here and browse tutorials. And we're gonna go under all categories. And it's gonna be under select and mask. And it's going to be cut out an elliptical area by transform, transforming a selection. So we're gonna start this tutorial. And I'm going to make this smaller, this discover panel. And I'm going to try to get a size that might work better here so we can see it better. And so I can kind of go over here. Okay, so right here, we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool. If you don't see it, right click this tool icon then hover over the blue bubble and choose the elliptical marquee from the flyout menu so right here we we know that there's more under here because it has a little arrow that little dot so i'm going to hold down with my key and i'm going to find elliptical right there now so starting it says starting uh on the table near the left edge of the chair by the window Click and drag across the right side of the inner oval area. Don't worry if the selection is not an exact fit to the oval area. Click next to continue. So we're going to put this in there like this. And I'm going to kind of come down like, like that. And let's see if that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close right there. That does take a little bit of practice to get it kind of in there correctly. Then we're going to click next. And then it says uh, select transform selection. This will enable you to change the shape, size, and rotation of the selection. So we can go like this to transform selection. So right here, I can bring it bigger or smaller. And then if I also, which is kind of cool, if I hit the, the hit, if I hold down shift, I can change it a little bit more. So holding down shift lets you make it so that it's exactly where you want it. And you might have to make little adjustments at a time which is fine. And I think that's pretty close. I didn't need to do a lot to it. I can also use the the little arrow buttons on the keyboard to kind of bring it up and down, but that looks pretty good, okay? So once it says, it says drag on any control point to change the size of the selection, shift drag to move a point independently and fit the selection to the inside of the table, drag outside to rotate, press enter to apply, click next to continue. So it's real important that you hold down shift. If you hold down shift, then you can move the points really easily. If you don't have uh, the shift down, it's gonna try to keep the same proportion and that won't fit right, okay? So it's important that you can do that. And then hit next to continue this. Oh, I have to hit enter. So you have to hit enter, otherwise it won't take it. So. Make sure after you do your selection with this, you select enter, return, one of those keys, and then that way it will it will transform it, okay? Now we're gonna go to next, and right here it says inverse. This is very important. We have to select the opposite of what we have selected, okay? So we're gonna go to select inverse, very important, okay? Now we're going to add it says the select inverse command swaps this, the selected unselected areas. Everything in the image is now selected except for the oval area in the middle of the table. Click next to continue. So now let's click next. And now we're gonna add a layer mask. And when we add that, the layer underneath there, the water comes in to view because we hid this area. We masked off this area. So that's hiding, and what under, what's underneath that layer, this water, is now shown, okay? 
So a layer mask that hides part of a layer offers more flexibility than erasing or cutting the pixels because it is non-destructive and allows you the ability to edit and improve the layer mask. Click next to continue. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Now, if you're one of my students and you're turning this assignment in, you need to save it. So if you look at it and you know it's perfect, then you don't have to worry about saving it as a Photoshop file. But if you want to come back to it, you need to save it as a Photoshop file. But when you're turning it in, turn it in as a JPEG, very important file. And save a copy since I'm only going to save it as a JPEG. I'm looking at it and it looks good. Otherwise, I'm going to have to redo it if uh, there's something wrong with it, starting all over. So right here, I'm going to go to JPEG, change it to JPEG. And I'm going to label this elliptical marquee. And I'm going to put my name in there. That way it can be identifiable. And JPEG is going to go to my downloads. Very important you know where it's going. Otherwise, you won't be able to find it. Save. Quality of 8 is fine. This is just for to turn it in. So I don't have to worry about it being high quality. And there you go. That is everything.